Chad, less than 5% of the population has access to electricity. Outside urban areas, it's practically zero. Without a generator fueled by diesel, there's no chance of getting power. Emissions of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases from fossil fuels are contributing to climate change and cause widespread harm to lives, communities, infrastructure, institutions and budgets. And Chad knows its oil won't last forever. It's looking for an alternative source of energy now so development can be shared throughout the country into the future. Energy is the thread that connects economic growth with better living conditions. Les sources renouvelables de un l'état de bien positionné avec une irradiation très forte par rapport aux autres pays de l'Afrique ou voire même du globe pour exploiter les centrales solaires. UNIDO, the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, is playing a lead role in assisting Chad. Working with its partners, UNIDO has built solar power stations in three different parts of the country, serving three different groups of beneficiaries. The remote village of Mombu is a difficult place to reach. It's a three-hour drive from the capital, Enjamina, on sand roads. Here, UNIDO and its partners have built a 40 kilowatt solar power station. Local inhabitant Jida Mohammed Tahir has been trained to maintain the site. Now the town comes to life in the evenings. Villagers can attend the mosque. They can walk safely to fetch water. And they can visit a health clinic in an emergency. Si y avait pas des électricités, nous aurons beaucoup de problèmes parce que la nuit, il y a des urgences qui viennent. Ça électricité, ça serait difficile. Mais comme il y a électricité, je viens, on sauve la vie humaine ici à Mambou. Donc je vois que c'est quand même bon. For farmers, irrigation is vital in this desert region. Solar power provides farmers with a more efficient irrigation system than the previous diesel-fueled one, allowing them to produce better crops. <laughs> Duguia is a town sitting on the river Chari opposite Cameroon. Here, the solar power plant built by Unido and its partners mainly supplies local businesses. A reliable source of electricity enables small firms to thrive. From a welding business that's been able to take on three more employees, to a lady with a fridge full of ice lollies that she sells to local children. Jidam Madara has eight children. More affordable solar power helps his business and his family life. There is a great change. Because before I use the generator, my economy is all passed on the carburant. So what I depend on the carburant, now I start to make the economy of my children. So I send my children to school, I pay their clothes, everything. The town of Guelendeng lies 150 kilometers south of the capital Enjamina. It's a busy thoroughfare and trading post. Here, a solar power station is supporting local government. Street lighting gives a greater sense of security. And the power station also supplies electricity for the mayor's office, helping to lower its running costs. Avant, on faisait des de photocopie au quartier et quelquefois à la fin du mois on se trouve peut-être avec 50 50 au delà de 1000 et maintenant nous avons 30 000 donc c'est que différence de ça ça fait déjà notre économie 
Group Mont Minda, a women's collective in Guelandeng, runs a business packaging and reselling agricultural products. More affordable electricity means members can work later into the evening. The women recognize the many benefits that solar power brings. <laughs> The three sites are only the beginning. In N'Djamena, the Spanish company behind the installations is training delegates from all over Chad how to manage solar power stations. The aim is for more local communities to set up and run solar power stations, making them pay for themselves. It's important that this new way of thinking of microgrids uh, and solar energy, it's debated and we prepare the path for the future where if there is going to be large-scale implementation, there has to be local uh, capacity to design them and to, and to plan those uh, infrastructures. The three initial solar power stations are proving successful, with demand for electricity growing in all the sites. The lessons learned will hopefully lead to further projects, not just in Chad, but in other countries with similar conditions. We've tested this model in different communities, in different settings, um, different characteristics of users. Um, we have tested the technology, we have trained the local people, we've created the local capacities. The idea is now that based on all of these experiences, we'll be able to replicate this with additional funds.